Before the country was hit by COVID-19 in March, Kenyans were battling a desert locust invasion that had threatened the nation's food security. Swarms of the destructive insects started crossing the border into Kenya from Ethiopia and Somalia in December 2019 and had spread to over 30 counties. And while the situation has since been controlled, it would seem like Kenya is staring at a second wave of the desert locust invasion in December. It's projected that the invasion in Ethiopia and Somalia has not been contained and a lot of breeding has been going on in these neighboring counties, countries. Because of this, it was earlier projected that when the southerly winds start in December 2020, then we may experience a second wave of invasion. According to Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya, the government and development partners, including Food and Agriculture Organization, has set aside 3.2 billion shillings to deal with the impending crisis. For sure, the country that there is nothing to really panic about because given what we did when we were not prepared now we are better prepared than before and therefore we'll be able to handle the situation bring it under control before any damage is caused addressing the media in naivasha munya assured farmers the situation is under control acknowledging the outbreak of covid 19 early in the year has affected measures to contain the migratory pests Munya said that the fight will be won if all the neighboring countries work together. On her part, FAO country representative Carla Mukavi said there was a plan of action and funds to deal with the second wave with large sums of desert locusts already spotted in Somalia. With what is happening on the ground, we have operational, of course, already officers working on the ground in order, of course, to, to inform us so that we can act on time. And that's why now we know exactly what is happening. So the minister has really say what is really happening. So we'll continue to, to work together. We are here uh, as FAO to provide the support needed. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.